So, it must have been a good day today. Good day. I've already recorded the close-up, and you guys know I hate doing close-ups. I'm not great at them. Did the best I could. I hope that you, you do well with it. But So, what we're going to talk about today is the grail with the diver and how to build the grail or the diver I guess base in the diver and in the grail and uh, but specifically we're going to talk about the grail today so here we go So we will start with, uh, I'm going to do a tutorial for building the diver. Now the diver is a little different, the base for the diver's build is a little different in the grail than it is in the diver tube. Um, but the, uh, the coil is about the same. So first thing I'm going to do is actually build a coil. Um, I will tell you, if you guys don't have one of these resistance uh, or, or wire welders, I mean, they make life on using building resistance, no resistance, just amazing. So uh, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to build a coil using the resistance and the non-resistance wire. So I'm going to charge up my welder here. Okay, once that's connected, I'm going to give it a good tug. Make sure that that's together pretty good and solid, and it is. So, I'm going to cut this one. And I'm going to put my resistance side back through the wire welder. Pull me a little more non-resistance wire through. Charge up my welder. I wish I had more light. I could see this much better. So that one did though. Little snug tug there fails together. So trim it off again. Take it out. And that is how you use a wire welder to make basically a ready wire. So now we're ready to use it. We can got a little more light for this. So I heard somebody one time say that you couldn't use three millimeter wick in the uh, in the diver ceramic. Um, I have found that is not true. Let me see if I can get any closer here. I don't think I can. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to double up the three millimeter kind of on one side and I'm going to take my resistance, no resistance, and I'm going to wrap it. Now, kind of a critical thing here is you want to make sure that the resistance wire is touching wick in every place that you've got resistance wire. So what I'll do is I'll start my junction or where my junction is I'll make sure that it's kind of in between those two pieces of wick, kind of right in the middle. Then I'll start wrapping. Okay. 
make sure those are separated a little bit. and focus so you can kind of see what we got here. What you end up with, well, is, there, is basically a lead running out each side, but the junction is touching the wick on both sides. I have a quick question. So pretty easy so far. Next thing you're going to do is inside the ceramic cup there are in the cup, I guess you would see them at kind of three and nine o'clock there. You're gonna feed that, you're gonna feed these two leads down that hole. Now these are the non-resistance leads. It's gonna be a little tricky. This really is almost the hardest part. Okay. Now, the two leads are going out the bottom. Now, I guess this kind of goes where somebody said you couldn't use three millimeter. If you give that thing a good push, somewhere. If you give that thing a good push, you can get a stacked three millimeter to go in there. So now that's the uh, I guess for me the next the hardest part. The hardest part for me is getting this little wire up in here. So you got to kind of trim it off pretty short on one side. And you got to bend it in around and down that hole. Take something like a syringe. And now that lead is going inside that middle hole. This other one you just kind of want to bend it back and cut it off because it makes contact with the base doing the negative. So the positive's in the center and that's the negative. So the next thing you want to do is find the piece that's not here. There it is. You just want to take the ceramic cup and kind of push it in here so it's nice and snug. And then you'll take this brass pin push it right up the middle and it traps that wire that I bent up into the center and you're pretty well done now in both of these builds I cut off this one side and I also trim off that other piece leaving the long tail so now you've got one trail hanging out the side but you've got a double stack of wick up underneath it now if I was doing the diver which uh, I guess I can just show you what I would do is I would take it I would feed the long trail up put the top over I would screw it on so I guess really at this stage, like I said, what you're doing is you're just laying that wick in a circle around that coil on top of that coil.
it can be a little fiddly here. But once you get done, what you end up with is the coil in the middle there with a circle of wick running around the outside of the coil catching the juice. So that's how I would do this if I was building the diver instead of the grail. But we're not building the diver, we're building the grail. So the grail is a little different. Okay. We still have our trailer wick. We're going to take the grail. We're going to feed our little loop up through it. And screw it into the grail. Now, some people may do this differently. This is just how I've had the best success. What I'll do is, in a similar fashion, instead of stacking it on top, I'll start laying this wick in around it. So you can kind of place it with your fingers at first. And then you can take your syringe and kind of push it down into that gap. And just have a little patience with it. And you'll end up with on the grail. Something like that. You got a stack of you got a stack of wick around the coil. Alright, now you just want to kind of put it on your mod, make sure that you got it all glowing nice, make sure it doesn't pop. Don't just fire it, kind of give it a light, a light pulse. There we go. She's glowing nice. Next thing on the grill, like see, you just put the, uh, well, we can go ahead and put some juice on it. Uh, what do I got sitting around here? Let me get a, let me get a little bottle of juice here. Be right back. I'm crying because I'm almost out of grants. So we're going to take it and just put a little juice on it. Juice on the coil. Make sure she's firing, looks like she is. Now we can put the top on. I right, put about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You just want to get it to just before it's got a pool, you know. You want you want the wick nice and saturated but you don't want to have it flooded. I'd say we probably got a little more. Probably about 15 drops of juice in there between the prime and the fill. Now I don't have a puddle of juice in there, but it is absolutely saturated. So that was my uh, hack job attempt at showing you how to build the diver and the grail, and I'll be right back. So let's put a couple of couple of more drops of juice in it, because I've already been vaping on it a little bit since I did that build. What I'll do is I'll top it off with, you know, five six drops of juice. They say you can put more wick in it. 
I'm sure you could to where in the in the up close I just put it around the bottom I'm sure you could combine the way I did the the diver and the grail build and have it down in the bottom and also spiraling up the top to get more juice in it um, so yeah, you probably could do that but uh, as it sits now I put like I said 10 15 drops in there and you know, I don't drip a ton so but I'm sure more silica could allow for it to hold quite a bit more juice let's have a vape off of it and uh, see what she does So, Diver Grail. <coughs> I already did my video on the Diver. The Grail is just an accessory for the Diver. So, the Grail with the Diver. Um, you know, that little gargle is kind of par for the course for a dripper. I don't know if for, for me, those that have or haven't dripped. Um, when you over drip, you, uh, that gargle's pretty normal. I didn't actually pull any juice up into my mouth. I just pulled juice out of the base of the dripper up into the coil. And, uh... So yeah, it's perfectly normal. Um, huge fan of the diver, so I guess I get um, you know de facto have to be a huge fan of the grail because it's working really really well. I, I'm not having any leaking, which if I was on my nemesis, it would kind of be uh, coming out that hole, those holes right there, because it is base fed. Um, but I have found that with the diver on the several or the grail on several things that I've used. For me, it works best if you have something that has got it, that has its own like independent air air control or airflow. So like a Chiu, a Nemesis, a uh, what else? I guess you could do a GGTS. Just anything that has air control, because I have found that you know if you uh, unless you don't mind a gap, most of the things I've tried it with that didn't have really deep grooves cut in the top cap caused some airflow issues, which really affect your vapor production. Um, so just be mindful if you're going to use it on something uh, that does not have independent airflow. You want to make sure that it's got good deep grooves cut in the top cap to, to really supply it with uh, to supply it with air. Um, you know I can't wait to see what what Atmosteak does next because they you know they created this Addy. You know the diver base is an Addy, and then the rest of it is just ways to use it. In the diver, the cardo form factor works great in cardo tanks. It's uh, if you take the flange off, it works in the Z2 uh, Z2 cardo tanks, which is really nice. They've got great airflow. Mike did a wonderful job on the airflow system with that. Um, if you uh, if you if you go to the grail form factor, you've got you know a really nice dripper. It looks really really nice. Um, you know, so what what could they do next with it? It's just uh, I, you know I can't say enough nice about it. I know there is a couple of companies. I think Vape Escape is doing pre-orders on the uh, on the Grail, the Diver, and the Scubas. I know uh, also Sooner Vaping. I think are doing pre-orders on the Grail and the Diver and the Scuba tanks as well. I'll put links to both of those companies down in the description, their Facebooks. And uh, yeah, so again, for me, home run. It's not overly expensive. I've got Addies that cost a shit ton more than this thing. Um, you know, I, the whole gig, the scuba tank, the Addy, the, uh, or the Diver, the scuba tank, the Grail, you're talking under 120 bucks shipped, and you've got, you know, Cardo form factor, you've got Cardo in tank form factor, you've got dripper form factor. So, pretty multifunction for 120 bucks or so. So, you know, for me, absolute home run, I would say definitely top two Addy for me. All around and all I've tried top two for me. So, it's Jamie J.C. West. That's what I've got. Come check out our new uh, auction site. It is uh, Drama Free Vaping and Trading. I'll put a link to that down on the Facebook also. Over 900 members on our first day. Things going well. New items coming up and uh, having a lot of fun over there. It's uh, building into what's going to be, I think, a really big community. So, thank you all. I appreciate it. We're, f I think, 400 or 600. No. Nope. About 530 subscribers away from the Caravella giveaway, so we're getting really, really close. Maybe giving it away this month. Um, so let's give out some. Uh, let's give out some juice. I'm gonna do that piece of paper. Let me find that piece of paper. I'll be right back. 
Pound the paper. All right, so the winners are, now what this is, is if your comment corresponds with this number, so if you were the 19th comment, then you want a bottle of juice. Here are the numbers. I'm going to put them down in the description. It's going to take me a couple of days to find out everybody who's everybody. Um, and then I'll send you a message on YouTube, uh, which I need you to respond with your address, and I'll get you out a bottle of juice. we got some Curious George. Um, thanks to the standard, we've got a 100 ml bottle of uh, Ripple Effects uh, Gooey Gooey Butter Cake. Thanks to Big Boobs O'Reilly. And here's the numbers. I will put them down in the description also, so if anyone wants to help me with this, I'd appreciate it. 19, 42, 76, 111, 127, 159, 167, 195, 6, 26, 121, 229, 224, 365, and 382. So, if your comment number corresponds with that number, you want to bottle of juice, not promising which ones which you're going to get there, but uh, it is all 12 milligram juice with the exception of the, uh, the butter cake because it is three. That is what my wife ate. This is Jamie J.C. West, uh, YouTube, Facebook, Drama Free Trading and Auctions. Um, videos auto post over at Vapor's Place. Be strong, vape on. See you again next time.